Hi you guys, happy Monday. I am in my office today and I have a full afternoon and evening coaching amazing humans. Um, my coaching days are one of my one of my favorite days. <laughs> I was gonna say my favorite, but every day has been pretty pretty awesome lately. Things are things are in a really good place. So anyway, I actually that's a perfect segue into what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about if you have a case of the Mondays, how to shift that, how to shift out of that. And I can totally relate to this because honestly, Mondays used to be a tough day for me. I've worked for myself for seven and a half years, but for a couple years, um, kind of as I was transitioning out of fitness and building my coaching career, I was feeling a little bit disconnected from what I was doing and things just hadn't really like found their groove, their rhythm yet for me. So I found Mondays to be really triggering for a couple reasons. For one, I would use my weekends to escape and to kind of um, disconnect from the fear I was experiencing or the dissatisfaction of things weren't exactly how I wanted them to be. And so I was using my weekends to really like check out and go out and you know have a lot of drinks and kind of just check out and then Monday would hit and it would be kind of like face with reality. And two, again, I wasn't super connected to what I was doing at that time and it didn't feel aligned. So then it was like waking up, looking at a new week. I just felt instead of feeling really excited, really connected, hey season, <laughs> um, instead of having that and feeling like a fire, like my passion was getting me out of bed. It was like the alarm goes off and it's like, all right, let's do this. What are we doing? You know, there, again, it was really, really um, not aligned with me truly being honest with what I wanted in my life. And once I started doing that, like everything started clicking and it continues to the more that I acknowledge what I truly want want, then I really feel like that's where the magic happens. So anyway, without going too far into that, I just want to say I've definitely shifted out of that where Mondays are like, like I said, I don't have like a favorite day of the week, but I, I do love Mondays. There's something so awesome and just feels like fiery on Mondays. I really um, love the energy of Mondays now. So how to get here if you're not even close or if you definitely, maybe it's just today, maybe, you know, this weekend wasn't a weekend that felt really restorative, relaxing, fun, whatever it is. Maybe you kind of, sometimes I know if weekends are really busy and crazy and you don't take time to actually pour into yourself or to ask what you need, Monday can hit and you just feel plain exhausted or a little bit off. Like that's okay and we'll dive into that. And also maybe every Monday, like that was what I was experiencing in the past. Maybe every Monday, you know, Mondays hit and it makes you feel some type of way that you don't want to be feeling. So let's look at both of those things. For one, okay, if you just had a weekend that maybe threw you a little bit off, I suggest being really honest with yourself and just being an honest, gentle observer of what's going on. So for instance, if over the weekend you indulge in some more kind of like fun foods, I, I call foods, sometimes I'll call them power foods and pleasure foods. So a little bit more of the fun stuff um, that sometimes can leave us feeling kind of sluggish and, and drained and a little foggy. You know, we know this. Um, and if you indulge in more drinks, same thing. We are all vibrational beings. Everything in our universe is vibrational. It has a, a vibration, an energetic vibration. So it's really awesome to be aware of that and just be honest about it, that if you did a lot of things over the weekend that might've run your body down physically and also lowered your vibration, like you guys know I love my drinks, but drinking, especially in excess, will lower that vibration, as will certain foods. Um, and if you're not eating as healthy, um, or as many of your veggies and all that stuff, drinking as much water. If you get off track with that kind of stuff over the weekend, you are most likely gonna feel a little bit off, a little bit more sluggish, a little bit more foggy when Monday hits. So again, don't beat yourself up over that. Don't feel any shame around it, no guilt, because honestly, those feelings, those emotions, guilt and shame are low vibration too. So it's only gonna keep you stuck, keep you in a low vibe state, or even pull you deeper into it. So we definitely don't want that, we wanna shift it. And if you've watched my last few videos, I've been doing a lot of videos lately over the past month about shifting your energy state and shifting out of it. So you can look back, um, there's one that should be labeled as that on my lives. So yeah, you can definitely dig into that and do any of those things that are gonna shift your vibration quickly. 
Um, and then also just be like, cool, okay, we did that over the weekend, no big deal, like no shame in it at all. But what am I gonna do today, Monday, that's gonna lift me back up really quickly? So that might look like a, um, a green juice, veggies, or lots of lemon water. I'm drinking that right now. Actually, this is cucumber mint in this water. I normally do lemon. Get a sip here. Um, you know, music that's gonna lift you up. A workout. I got an early morning bar class in because you guys know I love bar and my spin classes at Cycle Bar. Those are my that lifts my vibration. I know that does that for me. Um, maybe for you, it's a walk, getting outside fresh air. I did that this morning too. I got some sunshine before I came to my office because I just really wanted to get some fresh air, enjoy the sun. You know, it's August. We don't have that many nice days left here in Wisconsin, so I wanted to really appreciate that. Um, I mentioned also that shame and guilt are very low vibration emotions. So flipping that, look at really high vibration emotions. The highest would be gratitude and love. So even having a practice of gratitude, like actually writing down what you're grateful for, or even just you know tapping into that and counting 10 things or five things that you feel really truly grateful for. And the key is to really feel those feelings because once you actually start feeling the feeling of gratitude, your vibration will shift and you will feel better. So, so yeah, you can do those things. Again, if you are observing that you're feeling a little funky on a Monday or any day, again, just be really honest about it. It's not anything to feel bad. It's just, you know, it happens when life happens and we're going and maybe, like I said, it was a busy weekend. We had a lot going on. I know I kind of had that this weekend on Friday and Saturday. Um, a lot of like social obligations, a lot of people. And for me, I know myself, I am an introvert and I, I, I identify as an empath as well. And so I will pick up a lot of energy like that. And that can sometimes leave me feeling kind of funky or off or drained. So I made sure last night I gave myself a really nice quiet night in. I was doing some reading last night. I lit some candles, which made it feel like a totally different experience. I should definitely do that more when I'm reading. It made it feel really like like a fun little sacred party for myself. <laughs> but again, like that's me, like that made me feel great. And that was what I needed. Um, so really, really pouring into yourself. And that's another thing is when you're being really honest about this, it's you can also look forward to the other weekends. And if you're finding that consistently on Mondays, you're waking up feeling kind of like blah and drained. That's obviously not how we want to start the week, right? So just being really honest about that and being like, what do I need to put into my weekend, insert into my weekend or block off some time for myself? I really like Sunday afternoons or Sunday evenings, like really giving myself a lot of space to pour into myself, get my vibes really high. And also I really like on Sundays doing things that make me feel really prepared for the week. So that includes the energy and the vibration, but also I love my planner. I like to write in different colors and mark it up, um, things like that, like really looking at what's coming in the week and me taking that time for myself on Sundays, as well as I've mentioned this in some of my videos, but my husband and I actually check in together and we do this rating spreadsheet on kind of assessing our past week, again, just being really honest, and we rate ourselves in different areas of things that are important to us. So that might be, we have like healthy eating or mine is like personal development, my books, podcasts, audiobooks, all that kind of stuff. Um, am I do I feel like I'm giving a lot to my audience? I rate myself one through five on all of those things, and he does too, and we kind of just talk about what went well this past week, what areas we would like to work on a little more. So yeah, season, it's awesome. She said, love that. Um, that's a really nice little like Sunday ritual that we do together. So again, if you're feeling funky on Mondays, one, know how you can shift it and know that that's available to you. Even in just a couple minutes, you absolutely can shift your vibration very, very quickly. And again, check out my one of my most recent videos for more tips on how to do that. Two, make sure your weekends are setting you up to feel really good on Monday. And make sure you're not doing a bunch of things that are gonna leave you feeling really foggy, sluggish, sluggish and drained. And then finally, I want to just kind of talk about the general feeling of if you are feeling like you have a case of the Mondays all the time, no matter what, maybe something really big needs to shift in your life. And maybe that's something that you just really need to be honest about and look at. And if you have a job that you feel like is just a soul sucking job or you're an entrepreneur and you're just not connected to what you're doing, that is not somewhere you want to stay. 
And I know that's not a five minute shift and that's not an overnight shift, but life is short and we aren't promised more time. You know, every day, that's all we really have, not to be morbid, but like we don't know how long we're going to get here. So I just really strongly feel that it is not worth it if you're just finding that every Monday, like if your Monday through Friday lifestyle is sucking the life out of you and you're not enjoying it, like it's time to be really honest and find out how you can change it and kind of have an exit strategy. And again, that might not be a quick shift for you. And you know, maybe it won't come for a while. And in the meantime, what I would suggest is just filling up your life with other good stuff. So when you're, if you really dislike your job, when you're not working, making sure that you're doing a lot of things that do make you feel happy and make you feel fulfilled. And also Maya Angelou has that quote that says, if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. So that too, like even I know some people who have a long commute to work every day, five days a week, it's a really long commute there and a long commute back. And I was just coaching someone on this and we were talking about, she has an audio book right now that she's just obsessed with. And now the time just flies. And even if it's traffic or I actually just read about this as well, I'm reading I'm rereading The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein, and um, there's a part in there about traffic, how traffic could bring out anger and frustration and impatience. Or you would take that time and actually say, okay, I'm in traffic. Can I give a friend a call? Can I call a friend that I haven't talked to in a while? Or can I find a really inspiring podcast? And then again, you're shifting your attitude and you're actually able to take an experience that could be a negative, frustrating experience and make it something positive, make it productive, constructive, something to lift your mood versus the other way around. So again, if you just find that right now, like I said, your Monday through Friday life, you're really not enjoying, that's something to be really honest about and kind of just look at how can I set up a plan to get out of it and shift that and do what I really want to be doing here on earth with my precious, precious time. And two, because that probably won't be a really quick shift, in the meantime, how can you shift your attitude and how can you shift how you're showing up for that or who you're being and how you're feeling about it? And there's usually so much we can do. There's so much we can do in any situation to make it a better situation and make make it fun. I ask myself that a lot too, if there's things that I don't really want to be doing. I mean, I don't particularly like folding the laundry or anything like that. I really don't like cleaning, so I actually hire that out. I outsource a lot of things, but sometimes I just have to do adult tasks and I don't love adulting, but it's like, how can I make this fun? Can I turn on my favorite music? And yeah, can I... Um, or listen to a great podcast or audiobook or something like that. Can I invite my husband to help so it goes twice as fast and maybe we have a, a nice chat while we're doing it? You know, anything that we have to do, asking how can I make this more fun? How can I make this a more joyful experience and um, bring joy to even non-joyful tasks? So I hope these tips are helpful. Um, again, I well, I felt inspired to share this because someone really close to me reached out and was definitely like having a case of the Mondays. And so it just felt like something that's super relatable to all of us. I think we've all been there. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps if you are experiencing that today or if you ever do. And I would love to hear from you too if you have some tips or um, just want to share anything about your experience with Mondays and shifting it into TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Making it just a day that you absolutely love, that again, passion and fire is waking you up in the morning and you feel lit up and excited for a new week. Like that is how you should feel. And if you don't, you have so much power to change it. So I hope you know that you are so, so powerful. And until next time, have a fantastic day.